Hi Sagittarius, this is your behind the scenes reading for September 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for September 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius. For September 2021, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for September 2021. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so sag Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the two of wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know, Sag. You have to pick a path. You have to decide here, Sag. Trying to figure out where to go from here. Clarify the two of wands. For Sagittarius. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Now, Sag, could be dealing with an Aries. You can tell me that, hey, you know, I want to take a leap of faith. I want to up and do something. I want to set out on a brand new journey. Should I? Shouldn't I? Or Sag, you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship, and you're trying to figure out where to go from here. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. And this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. Now, Sag, listen, you're at a dilemma, honey, because you have to decide here. You have to pick a path. You may be weighing things out trying to decide whether or not to take this leap of faith, to set out on this brand new journey, to up and do something, to just do this thing sight unseen. Or said, you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship, okay? And they were juggling. It could be you or them. And you're trying to figure out where to go from here. Sag, <clears throat> you have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. Sag, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but listen, you're telling me that something could be toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can be about a legal binding contract or about temptation. Clarify the devil for Sagittarius. Clarify the devil for Sagittarius. Clarify the devil for Sagittarius. 
it is clarified with the nine of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this is you saying with without or in spite of anyone i alone in my own right am abundant self-sufficient independent and single i'm single now sag listen you can tell me that hey you know maybe you want to be single because of some type of toxicity Sag, you can tell me that, you know, you're tempted because maybe it involves some type of abundance here and involves you to take this risk here. Sag, you can tell me this is about a legal binding contract. Could be what work or business that affects your abundance here that you're ready to maybe, I don't know, maybe take a chance on, tempted to. Or you're telling me it's about a legal binding contract concerning commitment and you're wanting to become single. Sag, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but said you can tell me that things are ending here. You can tell me that, hey, we can start new after it ending. Or this is about some type of transformation that makes you question whether or not you want to remain single or not. Go into a legal binding contract or come up out of a legal binding contract. Transformation, meaning, okay, well, we were in commitment now becoming single. Or we were dating and now we're engaged. And then we're no longer engaged. We're about to get married. It's about taking a leap here. Clarify death. For Sagittarius, clarify death. For Sagittarius, clarify death. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Sag, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shutting someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Sag, listen, there's a confrontation happening, okay, over this ending or this transformation. Now listen, you could be setting boundaries here, Sag, but this could also be that you're being accused here. Someone could be being accused of juggling, okay? Still not sure if it's you or them, okay? But we're becoming single because something is toxic. Sag, you have the star. Could be dealing with, I, could, ugh, I can't even speak. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Sag, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but listen, you can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own. You can tell me that, hey, I'm holding out hope and faith that we can heal things, mend things, work things out here. Or Sag, you're wanting to follow your destiny. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Could be getting your wish. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. Now, yeah, I said, you can tell me that... <clears throat> You needing to heal here because this commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family dynamics is ending. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal this family dynamics. But Sag, 
are we because looking at the cards thus far it looks like we're like getting a legal separation or divorce from someone because there's someone else in the picture and you very well could be getting your wish to have some type of commitment or stability maybe with someone else sag you have the knight of wands aries leo or sag this is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate creative new endeavor now someone could be rushing in going off going ham passionately rushing in with the spark of a new idea rushing in with some type of exciting passionate communication exciting passionate action but this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate this is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. Sag, it could be a rush to do something here. Sag, it very well could have been a rushing in, going off, going ham, passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the knight, really? No, the page of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. Mm, sad. Yeah, things could be getting heated here with a heated discussion or argument, Sag. Mm -hmm. However, is there passionate messages and are we hearing the news of someone sharing passion out being a player with someone else? Clarify the page of wands. For Sagittarius, clarify the page of wands. For Sagittarius, clarify the page of wands. For Sagittarius, the hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but Sad, you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can, some me time. You can tell me that, hey, I'm doing some heavy duty soul searching. Or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, Sag, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords. Coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the king of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the king of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the four cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting nor rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. Sag. Hmm. Hmm. Sag. Are you being propositioned here by someone? You thought long and hard about it, making a decision to not accept it. You started off telling me, I don't know, should I, shouldn't I take this risk? You may find yourself in a place where you're juggling, Sag. Sag, this may be causing a situation in your house. Because you may be being accused of something here, but I feel like you want to keep your commitment here. I want, I feel, I want to, I feel like you want to stay in your commitment here and heal your commitment here. But it's some type of 
outside force that is tempting you, Sag. This is, just makes me feel like it's a relationship that's on the rocks and you're at a precipice, almost about to make this decision that will like, it's a line that you're getting ready to cross and you decide not to cross it. Even though there's issues already going on in the commitment. Sag, this is your behind the scenes reading for September 2021. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share and i'll see you guys next week